So this will be. Is it all bottlenecks on these two? Or... Yeah, I'm going to take. All right, are we good? Yes. All right. You need to lock the door behind. for an hour. Yeah. Josie, what are you doing? She didn't have to run an errand, so, you know, bring your daughter to lab day, I guess. I'm not ready for you. What am I going to put in the ice? Samples. Where are these samples from? The birdies. The birdies, you're right. Hey, I want my piece. I go. Bye, Jesse. Thanks for helping me get the stuff ready for the W. <laughs> So I'm running this experiment in collaboration with some researchers out at Virginia Tech University. They're going to be coming here to OSU in like two weeks as the experiment wraps up. But between now and then, I'm kind of flying solo trying to get all this data together for this experiment. Okay, got the samples. Now I'm on a timeline to get the blood samples analyzed before the samples go bad. And the last thing I have to do is run <coughs> the hematocrit. So whole blood has two, well, three, but kind of two major parts. You have to make sure these tubes are clayed really well. There's clay at the end, or else when you centrifuge them, all the blood blows out the bottom, and then you lose your data. Part one, the red blood cells. Part two, the plasma. And then part three is kind of in between the plasma and the red blood cells. It's called the Buffy code. Interestingly, you know when Lance Armstrong was doping and all that stuff, what he was doing was increasing the percentage of red blood cells in his blood. And so if you have increased red blood cells, you have increased ability to transport more oxygen to muscle tissue. But if you're looking for hormones or certain proteins, those are all going to be in the plasma layers. I'm kind of in a rush because I was supposed to upload a bunch of grades for Sarah to D2L and I haven't done that yet, um, but I had to collect this data. So, you know, we got to get this done so I could go upload those grades. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Shake Cam Science. Uh, if you get a second, go to my YouTube channel, Shake Cam Science, all one word. Hit subscribe, it helps me out a ton, and I will catch you guys next week. Hopefully, I get this video posted before Saturday.